Celebrities are known for having multiple streams of income. You know they set up clothing lines, makeup lines, footwear lines, perfume lines, and pretty much everything else that you can imagine. That's how they are able to afford the super lavish and expensive lifestyle that they live. But did you know in addition to owning so many brands, many of your favorite celebrities have also done some voice acting? Yep, and I'm not just talking about actors and actresses. I'm talking about singers and reality TV stars. You already know that Beyonce voiced Nala in the Lion King remake, but did you know that Rihanna has also done some voice acting? I bet you didn't. So today I'll be telling you about the voice acting done by some of your favorite celebs, and I'm pretty sure that some of them will surprise you. Justin Bieber is known more for his music than anything else. We first got to know him as a teen idol, and then we watched him grow up, get married, all that stuff. He's also released a number of chart-topping songs that helped to solidify his place as one of the leading singers in Hollywood. But did you know that a part from his music, he's also done some voice acting. Apart from voicing a super minor role in the 2013 movie Machete Kills, he also did some voice work on an episode of The Simpsons where he voiced himself. It was a minor role, but I think it was really good. Second, you're clearly Justin Bieber. That's another 25 bucks we'll never see. Gosh. If Justin Bieber ever decides to give up on music, I think he'll be able to make a living as a voice actor. Up next, we have Ariana Grande, who many of you guys probably know her for her hit songs alone. I'm not gonna lie, Ariana is a great singer. But did you know that apart from her chart topping songs, she's also done some acting? And no, I'm not talking about her role as Kat Valentine in the Nickelodeon show Victorious. I'm talking about some voice acting. Ariana Grande has not just one, but two voice acting credits to her name. In 2011, she voiced the character Snowflake in the English dub of the Spanish animated movie Snowflake, The White Gorilla. She also voiced Laura in the American dub of the 2013 movie Underdogs. Why are you using such big words? Let me try to be as clear as I can. To me, you're just a bully. One thing about Ariana is that she gives her all to whatever she does, and voice acting is not an exception. If you are a Rihanna fan, then I have no doubts that you've been on social media at some point begging her to release an album or a new song. It's been five years and we still haven't heard from her, and I don't know about you guys, but I am becoming super impatient. Rihanna has been super busy with her clothing line, makeup line, perfume line, and I'm pretty sure that you you already know that, but did you know that she also has had a voice acting role? I bet you didn't. In 2015, she voiced the character Tip Tusi in an animated movie Home, which is about a bunch of aliens taking over the Earth because they think that we aren't advanced enough. Alien invasion aside, Home was a really nice movie, and I think you should see it if you haven't. Never lie. Yes, you do. And you know how I know? Well, because actually, every I time you lie, you turn green. Kim Kardashian is known for a lot of things. She's known for her family's hit reality TV show, her makeup line, her perfume line, and the sultry pictures she posts on Instagram. Is it just me or does every female celebrity out there have a makeup and perfume line? Like, come on, where is the diversity? Anyways, one thing that Kim is not known for is her acting skills. This is why it may surprise you to learn that she actually voiced the character Dolores in the 2021 movie Paw Patrol the movie. Yeah, I was pretty surprised when I found out because because it's not something I expected Kim to do at all. Ugh, I can't even with all this negativity. Up next, let's talk about Selena Gomez. Selena has come a long way from her days on Barney and Friends and on the Disney Channel. She's one of the few people who have managed to have a successful career in both music and acting. Talk about a multi-talented queen. Her acting credits also include a lot of voice roles, including voicing characters in movies like Horton Hears a Who, Arthur and the Revenge of Maltazard, Doolittle, and even Hotel. Transylvania. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Selena voiced the main character Mavis in all the movies of the Hotel Transylvania franchise. How cool is that, huh? Everything okay? My name is Mavis Dracula, and I'm Vampire Dracula. Zendaya has already established herself as one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood at the moment, and that is not even a debate. She has appeared in a lot of big movies and shows, including Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man No Way Home, Dune, Malcolm and Marie, and Euphoria. She has also voiced some characters in animated movies. For example, she voiced Lollipop in the 2013 movie Super Buddies, and she also voiced Michi in Smallfoot. Even though Zendaya has already achieved a lot at a young age, I 
think that we are still going to be seeing so much from her, and I simply can't wait. Okay, but why did they just turn on me like that? Because they're terrible creatures. Yeah, I know this is gonna surprise you, but apparently Drake has more talent than movies alone. I know that he has done some minor acting here and there, but I was kind of surprised when I found out that he voiced Ethan in Ice Age Continental Drift. Drake has more than proved himself as an artist, and I hope that we get to see him in more acting and voice acting roles because I think he is going to kill it. Oh, what just happened? Oh no, Ethan, I'm so sorry. I. Wow. John Cena is a wrestler, rapper, actor, and as it turns out, he is also a voice actor. He first got famous as a wrestler in WWE before branching out to try his hand in music and acting. I don't know much about his music, but he is doing really well as an actor. He kind of reminds me of Dwayne The Rock Johnson because they have so much in common. Like Dwayne Johnson, John Cena has done some voice acting. He's voiced characters in movies like Scooby-Doo, WrestleMania Mystery, the Flintstones and WWE Stone Age Smackdown, Doolittle, and in 2017, he voiced the main character, Ferdinand, in the movie titled, well, Ferdinand. All yours, little guy. Everything changed. <laughs> LeBron James is arguably one of the best basketball players alive, and I think he is one of the best to ever play the game. I'm not saying that he is the best, but come on guys, you can't deny that he has more than earned his right to be called one of the greatest of all time. Anyways, when he's not shooting hoops and just being an awesome player, LeBron James does some other stuff on the side, like voice acting. In 2018, he voiced the character Guanji in the movie Smallfoot. Whenever he decides to retire from playing basketball, I think he could have a career as as a voice actor. Of course, he wouldn't make big bucks like in basketball, but hey, it's not like he's gonna go broke or anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne has had a long career in Hollywood and has been around for more than 40 years. He is mostly known for his music career, but The Prince of Darkness has done some acting too. It's even more surprising to realize he's done some voice acting too. Yep, you heard that right. His first voice acting role was in the 2001 movie Moulin Rouge, and he has since gone on to voice characters in more movies like Gnomeo and Juliet, Fish Hooks, Bubble Guppies, and Sherlock Gnomes. Why would anyone do this to Tibbles? Because nobody likes him. Okay, so Nicki Minaj is known for being one of the greatest female rappers in history, and she is also known for her never-ending beef with Cardi B. What she is not known for is her acting, because, well, she hasn't done a lot of acting. She has four acting credits, and two of them are for voice acting. And yeah, I know that this may surprise you. She voiced Steffi in Ice Age, Continental Drift, and Pinky in the Angry Birds movie, too. So, tell me, guys, which celebrity were you most surprised to see on this list? Which celeb would you like to see in a voice acting role? Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below and do not leave anything out, okay? I know you enjoyed this video, so just go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on notifications so you'll never miss future uploads.